Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I am Anish and today we will talk about IIT Madras and TIMS program by uh, from IIT Madras, right? So it is a very interesting uh, program um, from both TI and IIT Madras. So they have collaborated together and they have come up with a program. So like first of all, who should apply for this? The person who is having a gate score lower than 700 or so, okay, or uh, yeah, lower than 700 and he wants to uh, get a job in the VLSA industry like sure shot and like uh, it's okay for him to invest three years then it's fine if you if you are not okay with investing minimum three years then you can skip this you can apply for mtex and from there you can grab a uh, on-campus opportunity right? on-campus jobs so it totally depends on you what do you want if you if you are okay with three years and if you really want to work in this industry and like in this particular program right i will talk about the curriculum of this program if you uh, if you are really interested in this then you can definitely choose this so people like obviously the uh, higher gate score is fine already like uh, 700 800 gate score is also, also fine but uh, generally what they tend to do is like they tell that they don't have enough time so they want to only invest two years in mtech and then want to grab a on-campus opportunity so uh, yeah if you have higher gate score you can choose that if you have lower gate score then you can choose that but obviously your gate score minimum for this uh, program to be eligible is uh 650 you have to be you have to have minimum 650 gate score for uh, for you to be eligible in this program so uh, let's discuss basically so it is basically research associateships in analog and mixed signal VLSI design okay so basically this program is a joint initiative by IIT Madras and Texas Instruments India Private Limited okay which brings together expert uh, faculty and strong academ academia industry interface research associates will be eligible for admission in master of science so you will be uh, admitted in the master of science programs in IIT, IIT Madras okay so what are the features basically uh, the you are called the uh, associates in the program will work on relevant industrial problems so you will work on the rele relevant industrial problems uh, which are basically mainly from the ti itself so you will work on the projects of ti okay and the candidates will be selected based on a written test and interview conducted by iit madras so first you have to have minimum you have to give gate if you are from an if you are a non iit student you have to give gate and you have to have a gate score of 650 minimum then uh, there will be written test and interview conducted by iit madras and according to that you will be selected the selected students will receive minimum uh, like uh, a stipend of 25,000 so your stipend will be 25,000 instead of 12,400 what normal mtech students get so you will get higher stipend so that is also a good thing for this throughout the program the students selected to the program will receive a provisional non-binding employment offer from TIA at the time of joining the course so when you join the course you will receive a employment offer by Texas Instruments so you don't have to worry so your job is already secured you just have to uh, do the research work over there and after finishing your MS program you will be directly uh, get a chance to work on ti okay so that's a great thing so what are the eligibility criteria you have to have a bachelor's degree in electronics electrical tele telecommunication instrumentation uh, engineering or any allied disciplines with minimum of 65 percent marks up to the final semester if the final semester results are not out you can give up to the seventh semester also you need to have a valid gate score of 650 in these three branches ec double e or in okay uh, now the gate requirement is waived off for btech students who are in centrally funded technical institute so if you are in one of the cfti institutes uh, basically you are away from the gate score criteria you need to have a minimum ccp of 8 or higher then you are directly eligible for this okay and then obviously you have to give a written test and interview that is same for everyone what is the application process you have to fill the application form i'll put all the links in the description you have to fill the application form you have to first apply to the ms program at it madras this website and then you have to choose double e6 as your first preference for the specialization in the uh, form okay that you fill the form and that you have to choose the deadline is 31st of march so we still have time obviously uh, the gate results will be out after that it will close up so we still have this month right so before this month you have to fill it up now frequently asked questions information about the test and interview syllabus okay uh, which will be towards the end okay we will talk about this now selection process the selection process is based on the written test followed by an interview shortlisted uh, candidates are invited uh, at, to a written test held at IIT Madras so you have to uh, like uh, write the written test at the at IIT Madras itself those who do well in the written test will be interviewed for the final selection okay uh, now how do we prepare for the test and the interview your test and interview will 
test your circuit analysis electrical networks and law circuits at the undergraduate level okay uh, basically basically it's whatever like you can follow my channel you can follow himanshu channel and you can follow our channel uh, prefusion up there the tech masters so first you obviously follow that playlist tech masters that is enough that is enough okay for this that is enough tech masters please is enough if you want extra you can follow my channel where i i have solved solved screen test problems you can follow obviously himanshu channel where he has multiple play playlists like okay so yeah prefer interview you can you can uh, solve that okay uh, or you want total compre uh, comprehensive comprehensive preparation for this i will recommend if you have the money you can buy himanshu's course okay there he have comprehensively solved the analog part the network part is already solved in in our uh, channel prefusion okay uh tech masters but the analog part uh it's not present in the youtube for free if you have the money you can prepare from the course if you don't have you can uh, prepare from the youtube videos it's okay so next the uh the course below cover the relevant topics like electrical and magnetic circuits basically electrical circuits only analog systems and laboratory so basically you, you can also it madras has also few course i will put those course in the lectures uh in the description below so you can also follow those courses and from there also you will uh like uh get a basic idea of what they can ask okay so but like it's a bit difficult to study from there. that's why i recommend you study from our channels like the mainly that tech master uh, playlist okay so basically these are the courses which they are mentioning over here and these are few books okay so obviously you don't have time right now you don't have time to study all this right so basically you can follow that playlist so these are basically important dates 31st of march is the last date to apply and this is the website and like all of them have like same process only now test and interview dates they will be scheduled between late april and early may so like uh, after uh, this march ends late april your test and interview will be scheduled okay the schedule will be com uh, communicated now basically what is the difference between doing an ms under this scheme and a regular ms at iit madras so obviously iit madras has a regular scheme as well but what is the difference the stipend in this program is higher so in uh, in normal ms regular ms the stipend is 12400 and here it is 25000 okay and you will have the also have the opportunity to intern at texas instrument and obviously you are expected to join texas instrument after you receive your msd okay so that is that is based uh, that is basically the thing basically you are already a employee of ti but just you have to finish the ms degree okay uh, now uh, like uh, the degree is is the is there any difference in the degree no the degree is same only the person who does regular ms and the person who does this ti under ms the degree whatever will be there it will be same there will be no difference in the uh, reg, uh, degree ms degree so okay so how long does it take to receive the ms degree so many uh, many students have this question that how long does it take how long, how long so i told you in the starting of this video that it can take up to 3 years okay it can like generally generally the timeline is 3 years for a uh, student to finish his ms program okay so that this is the average time this can vary but this is the average time of 3 years okay now what will i learn in this program so basically this course you take as a part of your ms program will Uh, the co help you build the foundations of analog and mixed signal ic design so mixed signal ic design you will learn you will go through complete ic design and testing cycle at the end of this program you should be able to take a set of specifications designs uh, design and integrate a circuit that functions according or anal analyze your design to find out why exactly it falls short of the specification so what does this mean basically uh, like what are we doing here right now we are designing something right with this computer this laptop all of them are designed with chips with amplifiers so and these have particular requirements so i need a high gain amplifier low noise and uh, high precision all those things high frequency so you have to design that now if you go to design that how will you design that how many mosfets will you choose okay or uh, what type of switch will you choose what type of capacitor will you choose all these things you you will get the basic idea from this obviously mixed signal uh, uh, mixed signal ic design is also very important because everywhere there is signal right so we have to work with that also so uh, you will also learn how to write papers give seminars describing your work so whenever you are doing research so you will obviously learn all this so uh, like they have to, told us that their uh, students have, ms students have written many more research papers okay so these are the few faqs that uh, like uh, they generally ask like people students generally ask that i have already applied slash want to apply to the mtech program at iit madras can i also apply to this program yes you can as long as you meet the requirements so you can both apply the mtech and the ms program okay i have already applied slash want to apply ms program at iit madras can i also apply to this program so if you have already applied ms program can you apply yes okay you just have to meet the requirements i already have a master's degree can i pursue a phd under this program no this is basically structured Uh, on the ms uh, program right so master structure is there there is no uh, 
like no structure for phd okay so for phd you won't be uh, able to apply for this okay you don't you, don't, you won't get any phd over here okay so yeah uh, this is the playlist basically you can go to our channel tech masters or just search tech masters prefusion you will get this okay or mtech interview preparation whatever you search you will get this playlist okay and from here you can simply study so as i told right this is a very good program you will get uh, basically uh, like di direct employment under ti so but the thing is like this is 3 years and other other uh, other uh, like uh, M Tech is two years. Other courses are two years. That is one thing. But uh, like uh, it, it's totally your call. If your grade score is low, then you can apply for this. Like keep this as a backup also. Also, you can do that also. Okay. Uh, and if your grade score is high, then I will I will tell that you can skip this. You can apply for uh, like top IITs. Uh, basically, the old old uh, five IITs. There you can apply, and that is also very very good. Okay. So yeah, basically, uh, I hope you uh, like understood the all the things, all the points from this video. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.